As we begin chapter 14, um, we're going to see that there's a lot of concepts to review. And as we go through our biomolecule chapters, um, take the opportunity to review all of your old chemistry um, that will help you be well prepared for the final exam. So first of all, we want to lean back on some of those functional groups that we had learned. Um, and these were primarily from chapter 12 and 13. Um, we want to know what alcohols are. We want to be able to recognize aldehydes. This is a condensed way of drawing them, but here is another way of drawing them. Remember, R just means the rest of the molecule. Um, ketones have that same carbonyl, C double bondo, but it's between two carbon groups. So it's going to look like that. Um, and then finally, carboxylic acids. We've been seeing those for really the whole semester. Um, so those carboxylic acids, we're looking for the COOH, or if it's expanded out, it looks something like that, okay? So be familiar with those functional groups. Um, other terms and concepts to review that are gonna come up again in this chapter, um, oxidation and reduction. So that, if you need to review it, go back to chapter five and 12. Um, remember, we're working with organic molecules, so oxidation is going to be loss of hydrogen or gain of oxygen. Reduction is going to be gain of hydrogen or loss or reduction of oxygens. And I'm often coming back to oil rig to help me remember that. Um, in chapter 13, we just learned about hydrolysis. And hydrolysis is where we add water and cut a large molecule in half. Or not exactly half, but kind of break it apart. Um, and so we will be seeing some of that in this chapter, big molecule, chop it apart. Um, chiral centers and enantiomers, we learned about those at the end of chapter 12. And then um, coming up in chapter 16, we'll be talking about substrates. Um, so those are some concepts to make sure that you are strong and comfortable with. Something else we're going to see in our biological molecule chapters is that we can take the structures of the compounds and from that, that's going to lead to properties functions and reactions of those molecules. So this gives us a way to kind of summarize and see how the whole chapter fits together. So um, as far as structure this semester, or sorry, it's structure in chapter 14, we're going to see a lot of these rings. Um, and the rings have all kinds of hydroxyls on them. So I don't have the hydroxyls on my particular little model here, but you can see that there's a ring. Um, we would call this um, well, never mind. So we've got a ring, and we're going to see a lot of those ring-shaped um, structures. Um, as far as properties go, um, we're going to see that our sugars are carbs. So carbs here is what we're talking about. Um, our polar, if they are monosaccharides, and mono meant one ring, um, we're going to see that because they're so big, they're solid at room temperature, and that would be like sugar. Um, and if they're small, they're water soluble. So see how those are some, oops, sorry, some properties um, of my carbohydrates. Um, as far as functions, this is what do we use them for? Um, and so we definitely use our carbs for energy um, just to metabolize them right away. We also have some energy storage that would be like the glycogen. Um, and then if you're looking in a plant, um, then you have things like cellulose or fiber um, that provide structure in plants. Finally, the reactions that we're going to see um, in this chapter, oxidation, reduction, and hydrolysis, as we mentioned before. So we're going to learn about these sugars that have these properties, these functions, and these reactions.